Performer 8 is the debut project from Mixed Bag Studios based in Turin, Italy. The indie team drew longing gazes at last year's PAX Prime and E3 while showing off their upcoming mobile adventure game. From these early glimpses, it's easy to see why. When they announced their project last year, members of the team behind Former 8 espoused a desire to place as much focus on art and atmosphere as on core gameplay during the game's development. While wandering the ruined caverns of Former 8, there's hardly a corner of your iOS device's screen which doesn't host some appealing artistic feature to rest your gaze upon. The game's relatively slow pace allows plenty of time for the player to let their eyes leisurely pass over the deep, colourful scenery. It gives the impression that it's much more expansive than one would expect from a simple side-scroller such as this. Levels are painted in layers which pass over one another to communicate a sense of depth in the otherwise two-dimensional environments. Enemies that you encounter will take advantage of every crevice your probe may shine its light upon. Although the game is something of a sightseeing tour, the world of Former 8 hides enough danger to deserve the player's full attention. While you drift through the debris-filled caverns, the player will encounter the hostile residents of the world they've come to explore. There are winged enemies, enemies who fling projectiles from a distance, and other enemies who are content to wait for you to come to them. But all of them are relentless in their pursuit to rid you from their home. Enemies tend to be dark, in contrast to most surfaces in the world, and the game provides a number of mechanisms which the player may use to defend themselves. Former 8 is by no means a combat-focused game, and this begins to show itself in the types of weapons given to players for fending off hostiles. There's a short-range burst shield for putting some distance between yourself and closing enemies, and mines which can be used in the tight, winding caverns which combat often occurs in. It's even possible to combine these two measures to create your very own projectile bomb. All of these are carried out by performing various gestures on the right side of the screen, and each has a momentary cooldown to keep these from being used in quick succession. This method works just fine for most situations in the game, as the majority of enemies are reasonably flimsy. Hairier moments where more baddies are breathing down your neck are more difficult to deal with and expose the more substantial gameplay issues the game has. The probe which the player takes control of is handled using swiping movements on the left side of the screen. The decision to omit virtual controls makes sense as it leaves more of the beautiful environment which Mixed Bag have created unobstructed for the player's viewing pleasure. However, from a gameplay standpoint, this creates uncertainty while trying to navigate the closed environments in the game. Whether it's traversing an underground pocket of lava or zipping past enemy hurled projectiles to reach new destinations, Former 8's control scheme simply doesn't lend players the precise movements which its environment can demand. Momentum the probe gains while moving in any direction is not easily gauged or changed, making it prone to bumping into things and increasing the likelihood of getting cornered by enemies and destroyed. Swiping away with your left thumb in the direction you vaguely want to go is your best bet, as the craft has no solid feeling of control in this department. A swipe in one direction may slightly nudge the probe in that direction, or send it flying depending on how fast the player was moving to begin with. Mixed Bag is certainly on the right track with Former 8, and iOS fans should look forward to grabbing it on the platform of their choosing sometime later this year. The studio has certainly succeeded in its quest to create an eerie and beautiful environment which will hold the player's attention for many hours, but the gameplay aspect certainly needs work. The enemies and hostile environments provide ample opportunity for precision navigation and challenging combat, but Mixed Bag will need to hone their controls to give players the confidence to tackle these obstacles when the game finally hits. Overall, this is certainly one to keep an eye on. Thank you so much for joining me for today's review. For all the necessary updates on Former 8 and many other mobile titles, join us at GameMob. That's www.gamemob.com.